खोल लीजिए is very very important topic you will get 8 marks question from this topic very very important 8 marks okay first we will see the what is the collision okay anyone can say collision means okay nothing in general in daily life what we can say collision means let us take this is one body this is another body okay this is red pen this is blue pen so black pen okay what is the collision here what we can say collision means say Take this pen and take this pen. Okay, when they are coming, when they are approaching each other, okay, in the same direction. What I mean, they will at certain time they will meet and they will touch. There is no chance to go this side or this side. Okay, when it comes to here collision means, okay, any uh, the strong at uh, the strong um, attraction or the strong interaction, strong interaction between two bodies, the strong interaction between two bodies. Okay, when they are eating, what happen? Their momentum will be a change in a small interval time. Then we are calling this is the collision. What is the collision? The strong interaction between the physical bodies. Then their momentum will be a change in the small interval or in the small duration of time. That we are calling the collision. So collision. Next one. Then types of collision. then collision will be um, two types in general okay first one is types of collision under this there are two types will be there elastic collision in elastic collisions okay when we can say elastic collision when we can say in elastic collisions okay the law the momentum and kinetic energy the law of momentum and kinetic energy both will exist in that see what is the first one momentum momentum law and kinetic energy the law of momentum and kinetic energy then both will be exist in this case then both follow then we can say that is the elastic collision okay when you comes to the in elastic collision only momentum will be exist and there is no mm, kinetic energy there is no conservation of kinetic energy there is no conservation of kinetic energy so then we can say that is the what we can say that is in elastic collision the only here this is kinetic energy won't follow only momentum will be there then general momentum is generated by the p letter okay in this way there are uh, in this way we can say two types of collisions so one is elastic collision another one is in elastic collision so momentum and kinetic energy will be exist then we can say that is the elastic collision only here momentum the law of momentum will be exist they won't follow the uh, kinetic energy then we can say that is the in elastic collision okay now we are going to derive the equations for collision <coughs> so collision in one dimension very very important collision in one dimension how the, the for this we are going to derive that equations how the the collision is happening in the one dimension so two dimension also is there that we will see at the end of the class first we will discuss about the collision in one dimensions so for this purpose first we have to consider that so what is the collision if collision wants to take place means how many bodies or how many mass or how many objects we need definitely we need two types of objects and um, we have to consider the two objects 
ओके इफ टू ऑब्जेक्ट इज देर देन ओनली कोलिजन विल हैपन इफ टू ऑब्जेक्ट आर नॉट देर द कोलिजन वोन टेक्स प्लेस ओके लेट एस टेक ओनली वन ऑब्जेक्ट इज देर इट इज moving there is no obstacle in front of that object then where they can hit there is no chance to hit there is no change of momentum there is no change of kinetic energy due to that we are considering here the two masses let us consider we can consider the masses m1 and m2 okay the m1 mass first they are see what is the year two condition three condition will be there okay before the collision next during the collision next after the collision okay before the collision m1 mass we are considering m2 mass also we are considering m1 has u1 velocity next to m2 has u2 velocity in the during collision also they will change in their momentum or their velocities afterwards m1 mass will be there next m2 mass will be there so how they are traveling means so the m1 has v1 velocity next to m2 has v2 velocity like this this collision is happening in a one dimension okay let us derive the equation let consider let consider m1 mass body let us consider m1 mass one body m1 mass m2 mass okay this is initial velocity so you know very well there are two velocity will be exist one is initial velocity another one is the final velocity initial velocity we are denoting u and final velocity we are denoting v so okay here how many masses are there two masses are there for that purpose how you have to consider the u1 velocity u1 velocity and next one you have to consider the u2 velocity okay m1 has u1 velocity m2 has u2 velocity okay this is when initial when they are not uh, when they are at a normal position so after some time what happen they are uh, they are change uh, they are eating or uh, they are uh, collision is happening then they will change their momentum and kinetic energy okay next one so now we will see that now i will draw the diagram so here one condition should be there how many masses you consider here m1 and m2 masses okay here the, this condition should follow m1 greater than m2 like that you have to draw the diagram so here m1 mass should be more and m2 mass should be less or m1 object should be more m2 object should be less okay see this is the diagram m1 next one m2 okay this is before collision okay all of you see these diagrams then you can understand everything so here m1 mass m2 mass what is the velocity here u1 what is the velocity here u2 so here what is the velocity v1 and v2 so m1 mass as u1 velocity m2 mass and u2 velocity next then m1 m2 interaction when they are when the interaction is happen at that time this okay after the collision what happen the m1 acquires the velocity v1 next another one what is the velocity acquires then v2 this is okay this one is before collision next during the collision next after the collision so what all things are changing here there are two things are changing one is, um, first one is momentum is changing next second one is the kinetic energy also changing okay before that uh, i would like to tell you about the laws of conservation the laws of conservation of movement the laws of conservation of kinetic energy so here what is the law, law of conservation what is the law of 
or what is the loss of conservation so we cannot create the energy we cannot destroy the energy simply the energy changing from one form to another form that law we are calling the conservation of law conservation of law okay you know very well conservation of law we cannot create the energy we cannot destroy the energy simply what happen it is changing from one form to another form that we are calling the law of conservation or conservation of law okay so here what i said here two energies will be exist one is mo momentum another one is ke what is the meaning of ke kinetic energy okay what is the momentum then momentum we denoted by small p okay the ma mass into the product of mass and velocity we are calling that is the momentum or else we can say that is p is equal to mv though you know very well the kinetic energy what is the formula kinetic energy 1 by 2 mv square okay this loss we have to apply here then we can get from that v1 velocity and v2 velocity then final velocity how much m1 then you know, m2 how much highs the final velocity then we can derive so now i am applying here what i am applying the law the conservation of momentum conservation of momentum what is that see what i what i said momentum what is the formula p is equal to mv p is equal to mv so here v means velocity that may be initial velocity that may be final velocity so what i have been here before collision and after collision momentum they are momentum changing so before collision um, conservation uh, before collision momentum next after collision momentum <laughs> momentum conservation of momentum before collision conservation of momentum collision is equal to conservation of momentum after collision okay what is the um, conservation of momentum before collision let us see what is that why just now i said p is equal what is the formula m into v so what i can write m1 u1 first one next what is the next one m2 next u2 next this said before collision is over next after collision what happen m1 v1 plus next m2 next v2 okay this so what is the first one m1 u1 plus next m2 u2 and m1 v1 plus m2 v2 these two uh, this we can say that is the first um, um, before collision and after collision so now we have to write here then change so case we have to separate m1 one side and m2 another side we have to bring see here what is there m1 is there next where is the m1 another m1 this side is there we have to bring one side next there uh, the v1 also we have to bring v2 also we have to bring